Sorority at Miami University kicks out four women for singing a song which includes the N-word. The women posted a video of their performance on social media. Local 12's Larry Davis is live in Oxford now with reaction from campus. Hi, Larry. Hi, Cammie. Well, the most recent incident comes on the heels of uh, demonstrations on the Miami campus. They were in response to another student's use of the N-word on social media. And while there is outrage on campus, there is yet conversation and hope. Over the years, racism has raised its ugly head on the campus of Miami University. Students have engaged in protest, speaking out against hate. There have been other protests against more recent racist incidents. The use of the N-word by members of the Delta Zeta sorority raises more eyebrows and concerns. It was insensitive, you know, and it wasn't smart. Understanding the things that we're trying to change here on campus and um, just the, the general vibe right now, it, it wasn't a very smart time to be saying those words. Miami University professor Rodney Coates says students are hearing those words in today's music and in entertainment and social media. These words and imageries and so forth and so on and part and parcel to much of what they're listening to. Okay, so, so, so they are simply repeating things that they are continually hearing. Miami's campus has become more diverse in recent years, and the school has worked to bridge the gaps between races and cultures. The recent incidents have sparked new conversations between students and the school administration. Progress takes time. Um, and there are, where the meetings are being had, the university is working with the students, and we're trying to change the policies that, that can lead to a community change. I got hope for the future, okay? And that hope is reflected in the fact that almost immediately these young women said that they were sorry, okay? That's how we build, okay? Uh, and that, that's a testament to the fact that it is not all hopeless. And Cammie, we are told that the four students involved here did apologize for reciting the lyrics that uh, were contained in a rap song. Professor Coates says so many of today's students are away from home for the first time, they get a little bit of freedom, and, uh, but there are cell phone cameras and social media out there, and sometimes there are consequences to pay. Live in Oxford, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. Okay, Larry, thank you. The Delta Zeta chapter issued a statement regarding the use of the racial slur in a video, and it says, quote, we condemn the discriminatory and hateful language used in a video. And then it goes on to say, the students are no longer members of Delta Zeta because we do not tolerate any form of discrimination.